Hey, what's up guys? Back at you with another video. While Summer of Sound is still going on, there is a new free summer gift from Native Instruments that you can get totally for free until July 3rd. And it is actually an Irish harp, which is a unique sound, something I wasn't expecting for the summer gift this year. But it's actually a really refreshing sound and yeah, it is free. So if you are into free plugins and sounds, definitely check this out and pick this up. Like I said, it's gonna be available till July 3rd. So just going through the landing page here, it says whether you're keeping things traditional or warping sounds further irish harp offers warm lush rich tones captured from a 34 neo irish harp with a range of scales phrases effects and controls it's got all you need to craft authentic and unique performances for composing beat making and everything in between so you can download it for free right now and what i'm going to do is actually jump into logic pro and just test out this free gift so I've just loaded up Irish Harp inside of Complete Control, and this is what it sounds like out of the gate. There's actually this little phrase player at the bottom here. If you click on the play button, you can hear what it sounds like. And then to the right here, there's this phrase switcher that you can click through on these arrows and get different phrases. It's insane, it sounds so good. And then imagine with this little crosshair or arrow icon, you can drag the MIDI file directly to your timeline. And then it's asking me if I wanna import the tempo, I'm just gonna click no for now. And yeah, there is the MIDI information for that. So if I cycle it, Sounds so good. So I'll just go ahead and delete that and then I'm gonna cycle through some of these other presets. So we got the default Irish Heart preset and then we also have April Rain. And then we have this other one, I'm not even gonna to try to pronounce it, but it's something jig. And then we got Path of Lullaby. The Dark Bard. Nice and deep sound, I like that. 30 Birds. Ornaments. Ooh. White keys. All these presets sound really good, but I think I'm gonna go with Dark Bard. And I have this Reason Rack player device that I'm gonna experiment with. I'm just gonna go ahead and reset the device and start from scratch. Now what's really cool about this plugin is that you can double click into this grid area after you've chosen your scale and then immediately start creating chords and arpeggios and strumming effects directly from this player device. It's really fun. So I'm gonna start with a C here. So I'm just gonna double click into here and then drag it out to extend it. Then you can change the height inside this player to be multiple MIDI notes. So I think I'm just gonna leave this at like maybe four and then turn on the strum function and then maybe start with a downward strum and then we can change the amount of the strum right here and you can see that it's already shifting those MIDI notes. So let's see what this sounds like. That sounds cool. But let's add some more. Let's add some more blocks and maybe change this to be an arp. Change the position of it. You can add more repeats if you want. So we can go up to as far as 16, that's crazy. Let's see what that sounds like. So maybe not that many repeats, but let's drag it down to like maybe eight. We can always change the position of these chords. Let's go ahead and tweak this and just see what we can get out of it. Ooh. 
Ooh, I like that better. Can make an up down art. Make it just a downwards art and change the repeats. So I'd like the perfect player device to really experiment with a free instrument like this that's a heart. But let's actually drag down the tempo here and work with something that's a little bit slower. So that's kind of how you use Polystep Sequencer from Reason Studios. Let's jump into some of these presets and see what this sounds like with it. Sounds really good. Let's try another one. And I like that you have these different variation slots to change what your chords are like and your parts that you play. And then you can change how it goes through. You can either have it go randomly through the variations, you can go through a certain structure, or just turn it off and work with the first variation. Sounds so good. I really like that. Let's go through some of these other presets too. other controls for the dynamics, body, and decay of the harp as well. So while it's playing back, let's just see how it changes the character of the sound. rotary over here is for the intensity of the patterns i believe i'm actually not too sure but within irish harp you can change the sound presets up here as well and then also lock your scale to a specified key and change your key mode using either scale guide extended or white keys so for a free plugin this is actually really cool i love the way this harp sounds super warm but lush at the same time very bright and has a nice overall character to it definitely worth downloading free and adding to your arsenal before july 3rd and also keep in mind right now summer of sound is still going on over at native instruments website i'll leave a link below so you can pick up irish harp for free and also check out all the other amazing deals going on right now 50 percent off all complete bundles individual instruments, effects, expansions, and upgrades. All right, guys, that's pretty much it, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.